Good morning, everyone. I'm meteorologist Brad Sugden. We are the day before the storm system arrives. Even though there will be some light snow today, it's not the main system that we're tracking. So I do want to break down for you what we're still kind of waiting on. But what we know for sure right now is the arrival time of the storm will be generally after the noon hour, more likely toward about two or three. And it's going to be a wet, heavy snow as it starts off. Snow will then get a little more powdery as temperatures fall, especially into the day Saturday. Everyone is guaranteed to have very strong winds out there. They'll be about 40 to 45 miles per hour. So at times, visibility could be near zero. And we are talking about the possibility for some blizzard conditions across the area. Travel impacts will be nearly impossible at times. And that is regardless of who gets the most snow out there? Everyone looks like they will see something. We're just talking about the difference between heavy snow and very heavy snow. So either way, travel is going to be very, very difficult. What we're still determining is the exact track of the heaviest accumulation. Again, we know everyone will get snow, but who's going to get six inches and who's going to get 12? That's basically what we're trying to break down. That line will go through our viewing area, and I'll show you that in just a moment. Small period of rain could really cut down on some of those totals, and that's why I said we'll have very heavy snow, which is all snow the whole storm, and then just heavy because we'll sneak in a little bit of rain that'll knock down those totals a little bit. So here's the storm system coming on through. Notice again, it's really going to be cranking by Friday evening. Just trying to see if this little tiny bit of rain will wrap around. Notice that was a very close call, right? We are right on the line. So that's why we're going to wait and issue a snowfall forecast here sometime in the next couple of hours, but we're just waiting to get that precision down so we can guarantee everyone the best forecast. Another guarantee though is a lot of Arctic air spilling in. That's going to kick off the lake effect snow machine because the Great Lakes are very warm after all our warm weather and we are looking at snow really piling up in some areas even after our storm system leaves us. So snow will be heavy at times again starting primarily Friday afternoon through the day Saturday watching for this really brief round of potential mix or rain coming through later Friday night. With the wind blowing everything around, visibility could be a half mile or less, maybe near zero at times, especially as we go into the day Saturday. Wind gusts generally just keep increasing as the storm system strengthens as it moves over the Great Lakes. So again, we have a lot to watch coming our way. For today, though, we'll be about 33, 34. A couple on and off snow showers, nothing super major out there. Here's the timing, though, as the system starts to get a little bit closer. So 8.30 in the morning, we could have a band of snow out there already maybe really getting going over on the west side of the state. Notice though, it's not too bad even at one o'clock. So we'll get to school, we'll get to work just fine. It's getting home that's not gonna be fun for anybody. In fact, I would say by two to three o'clock, you need to be where you're gonna be riding this thing out. Four o'clock, it's on. We have heavy snow coming down. And again, this is before the evening drive home. So please don't let this catch you off guard. Temperature is right about 32. So it's heavy, wet snow and strong winds. It will stick to everything that is facing east with that east wind. As we go throughout Friday night, there's that rain snow line. And this is going to be the difference between very heavy snow and just heavy snow because we'll turn back over to snow really fast, as you see there. Look at these temperatures, though, into Saturday through the day, likely to go backwards. So now we're talking lower 20s. That snow is going to pile up a lot faster because it's fluffier, and anything liquid on the roads is going to get that nice sheen of ice on it. This is eerily similar to Christmas of 2022 when we had all that ice underneath all that snow. Again, winds will be a pretty big problem. So as we go throughout the day, throughout the day not half bad, but here's into Friday. These are sustained wind speeds, by the way. Look at that. They could be sustained 20 to 30 miles per hour. Some areas, maybe even slightly over 30 miles per hour. So that's a very strong wind with heavy, wet snow coming down. Please don't be caught out on the roads. It's going to be very difficult to travel. Winds could be gusting even higher Friday and Saturday. We could be gusting near 50 miles per hour. Now, here's why I want to break down the snow based on different models. Again, we're working on a snowfall map. We will definitely get that out here for you by the middle part of the day. The European model has that line of heavy snow 
compared to very heavy snow again going right through the middle part of our viewing area look at the american model though it's definitely a little bit further down to the southeast and then you have the north american model which is a little more high resolution so it can pick out some more finite details generally has that to the southeast as well so again everyone's getting snow everyone's getting significant snow but this is who gets absolutely buried like grand rapids and who has you know enough that you could shovel and not be the end of the world so it's just kind of a crazy system to be honest we will get that snowfall forecast out shortly so as we go throughout the day we're looking at about 34 degrees but again the main event arrives tomorrow arrives into the day friday and there it is we'll have very windy conditions temperatures likely to be falling as we go throughout the day saturday and check out the cold coming in with the lake effect snow and again we remember not this recent christmas but the one before that right this is a very similar situation to that wind chills especially down by hillsdale and Jackson could be as cold as minus 30 as the coldest air wraps around the southern part of Lake Michigan and we might not be done until we get into Wednesday of next week so some of us are going to have absolutely significant snowfall totals by Tuesday of next week.